Hey friends and Merry December Daily to you. It's Teresa here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to start off with December Daily for 2022. I wanted to finish up my introduction pages today and also share day one with you. So I went into my Felicity Jane stash and just grabbed a couple of products that I thought I might use. And I also printed my photo for day one. Also, you can see here, I've printed out some journaling on vellum. And also, I kept these as a template because I may use this again throughout the year. I may just have one simple format for the journaling and this turned out really pretty. I'm using a font called Modern and uh, just printed straight out on vellum from Photoshop. So I'm gonna trim that down. And first off, for my introduction page, I had chosen this Felicity Jane Transparency from the Noel kit from several years ago. Kept it very simple, just added the year and the 25 days using some very simple puffy stickers, puffy alphabets, and then this beautiful floral pattern paper behind it. And I thought that would just make a beautiful background for the vellum journaling. At first I thought I would put the vellum directly onto the pattern paper, but it kind of made it a little bit hard to read. So white, cardstock backing it is. I'm just going to trim that down to the size, closer to the size that it needs to be. And then that creates an opportunity to add a few embellishments here. I did not specifically call this my reason why page. <laughs> um, and that's okay. It's just uh, basically talking a little bit about why I'm doing this project again. Uh, this is my 16th year. And the main point behind my journaling here was to talk about how we're in the midst of some pretty big family changes as the children are growing up and they're finding their own opportunities in the world. I'm incredibly thankful for the opportunities that are coming to them and so Nick, as you know, he's been in college in New York for this semester and Addison is preparing to move out on, on his own for um, the first time and very soon now. And so with, those, with that overall uh, family life situation, it makes it even more important to document these memories to me and so that's kind of why I'm doing it this year. And so I wanted to add the Tis the Season Gold Puffy title there and a little bit of stamping on the background. And then I also went into my dimensional embellishments and found these little wood stars and they seemed to work really beautifully around that vellum. So moving on, now this is a, a Teresa duh moment, and I have this quite often. If you follow me for any length of time, then you've probably rolled your eyes at me and been like, oh my God, how dumb is she? Um, so in today's episode of, oh my God, how dumb is she? Um, I had this calendar page <laughs> from Felicity Jane. It's been in my stash for years, okay? Never really used it, but today's the day. And <laughs> what, isn't that how it goes? Today is that day. And um, so I wanted to use the All is Bright transparency that I created earlier. And it had this beautiful kind of teal, minty green uh, floral pattern paper. Beautiful pattern paper. So I had already punched it and put it behind the transparency, but I think I'm gonna put my photo behind the transparency. So I flipped the pattern paper upside down 
to use it on the back of the introduction page. And that creates a nice little home for this calendar. And let me tell you, I got all the way, all the way to number 21 before I realized that this was half of a calendar page. Okay. Um, so, yep, it's me. I'm the problem. <laughs> I thought that it would be fun. I also had these puffy numbers in my stash and I thought it would be fun to incorporate those here and just make a fun little calendar. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to put all those down and then begin to realize, oh, this is only going to go to day 21. And here's where I realize how dumb I am some days. I'm just teasing. I'm not putting myself down or anything. Don't worry. So then I was like, wait a minute. There has to be another half of this because that's when it occurred to me that there were only four days in each week. <laughs> so I went in my, back in my stash and sure enough, here was the other side. So no worries, we're gonna make a flip out. The handy flip out secret is the best mini album secret ever. And so that's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna take a little bit of doing um, one, I was going to try to, to move that December puffy word, but it wasn't going to do that without tearing up the whole thing. So I'm going to have to like cut a little bit around it. I'm sorry for my big giant head. Um, so I think that it'll be easy enough just to sort of notch in this bottom corner a little bit the um using the punch wasn't quite big enough so I just kind of made it work with my scissors it's not really going to be seen and then um that also meant trying to add the washi tape <laughs> with the other counter page already adhered listen this is why I love to use repositionable adhesive but that red line tape, once you put it down, it is not coming back up. Um, but you can do it. So let me pick out a cute little washi. These are my Christmas washies. And I just keep them here year round. They're just some that I set aside for this project. And so I'm going to just use this little fa -la, la tape and try to manage it and lift up. <laughs> the background page here at the same time and so I it stuck it down to the worktop and then pulled the page down and that seemed to work out fairly okay uh it's really not straight and that's okay uh here I'm gonna just add the little flip up and uh trim it down just a little bit don't look too closely at that it's okay it's fine um it's good enough and that's the that's the secret of doing december daily is to accept that what you're doing is good enough and uh so for the inside to help secure that i added the little red and white stripe washi that's so cute and added another little bit on that right hand side there just to repeat it a little bit it also adds a little bit of color because this is just a blank calendar like it's black on white and that's it there's nothing else so i went ahead and grabbed my uh grabbed my phone to show me the december calendar and now i'm gonna fix all these little <laughs> these little puffy stickers. I'm going to fast forward that so you don't have to be subjected to the painful process. Okay, that was, um, yeah, way more painful <laughs> than it needed to be, but I got it all fixed, and um, it actually looks really cute, and so once all the, the day numbers are adhered down, then I'm going to just add some of these fun little puffy stickers that I've also been holding on to. And I, I just have to say that it's nice um, 
the good that can come out of Felicity Jane no longer doing physical kits is that it can inspire us to use up the products that we have while we're still excited about it. They are um, doing some digital collections, it looks like, and so I encourage you to check those out. I'll be checking those out in the new year as well, and I'm excited um, to see how how their brand evolves and still excited to use their kits and their beautiful products. So I've got two sets of the puffy stickers here and just combining them a little bit, even though the color palettes are a little bit different, um, the Bella set of puffy stickers is a little bit lighter, but it still all works out and I just, I didn't really think too long or hard about where I put those puffy stickers, just having a little bit of fun there. And so then the, the flip out, the top of the flip out was a little bit plain. So I went in my physical stash and um, was just trying to figure out like what, what I can add. I wanted to keep it simple but also, you know, sort of let people know what was in it. So I found this little rubber wreath. I believe that is also from Felicity Jane from years ago. It's been in my stash forever. Um, it's amazing what you find in your stash <laughs> years later. And so I'm just going to adhere that down. And then I have a little December chipboard piece that fits cute in the middle of that and that way it sort of lets you know what's happening now i'm gonna just say this um i've mentioned of course how our family is changing and evolving right now and usually uh, i try to get a family picture together of everybody i try to do that at thanksgiving and usually we go outside and we just take, you know, 10 minutes before everybody eats. <laughs> Little bribery there. But that no longer works. Um, so I didn't have an opportunity yet to do a family picture with all six of us. I hope to do that sometime this month. It'll probably be Christmas Day. Uh, so I don't have a family a recent family picture of all six of us and I'm not going to stress about that um it's just something that is a little bit harder to do if you're a mom of older children you probably can relate to that and um that's fine we're just going to jump right in with day one I had this picture so we've been pulling all of the Christmas things out recently and I had this picture of Alan trying to troubleshoot some of our light strands. And I loved the contrast with the light shining into his face and uh, just the mood of the photo seems kind of pretty and kind of romantic. And so I had printed out the journaling on the vellum again and tucked that at the bottom of the photo and then you probably saw me fold it underneath the photo um i don't know i could have cut it off but i just folded it under <laughs> and then i also of course wanted to add the number for the day and so i went and grabbed some of these older hearts from Allie Edwards from last year I think or the year before and layered this year's number one onto the heart and then added that I also adhered that vellum with a couple of strips of little washi tape just keeping it very simple such a such a simple but beautiful formula full page photo vellum or printed journaling at the bottom and a little number for the day and so here's what that looks like in the album now thank you so much for watching this will be on my blog at teresamoxley.com and i uh, invite your comments would love to hear what you think 
Love to hear how your December is starting out. And I'll see you back here again soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.